Are you a new business owner and you want to know how great your business idea is? Do you want to predict how much you're going to make in sales and the amount of work needed to actually achieve it? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you three steps on how to predict sales forecast for your startup business. Coming up. Hello Millionaires, this is Fibo Lim, your Wealth and Life Coach. In this channel, we publish weekly content that will help you earn more income and achieve success in business and in life. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell button so every time we publish a new video, you will get notified. So now, let's jump into the content. Step number one, look for industry average conversion rate. With a wealth of information on the internet, most businesses today have their own industry average conversion rate. For example, for every 100 people who watch a sales video online, two of them will become buyers. So that's a 2% conversion rate. Find that data and use it as a benchmark for your own business. For those who hate math, you may not like this video, but if you are a business owner, you may definitely need to know these numbers and calculations because we're going to expand the example a while. Now, let's say industry average says you need to spend 10 pesos in an advertising campaign to acquire one prospect. That means you'll need to spend 1,000 pesos to acquire 100 prospects. And say, for example, you are selling a product or a program that costs 5,000 pesos, then that means 2% conversion rate. That means 2 out of 100 will buy. You will earn 10,000 pesos for every 1,000 ad spend. So if your target income goal, for example, is 100,000 per month in your business, then based on our data, you will need to spend 10,000 pesos in advertising. By having these kinds of data, you'll be able to estimate the amount of work to be done and the required cost to achieve your target income goal. However, if you cannot find such data, you can inquire from fellow business owners who have the same business as you have and ask them how much is their average conversion rates. Important data to gather are first is your cost per prospect or cost per lead. Um, second is cost per customer or cost per sale. Third is conversion rates, which is the conversion from the prospect to the buyer. However, if you still can't find this data, which is hard to imagine, then take an estimate guess on such conversion rates. Step number two, test and get actual data. Now it's time to get actual data. Do your business, spend on advertisement, launch your products, your program, sell your products, then get your actual conversion rates. Check the difference from the industry average versus your actual conversion rates and then adjust accordingly. For example, in one of my businesses, I was expecting to spend 10 pesos to acquire a lead or prospect. However, based on my actual data, I was getting a prospect for only 6 pesos in advertising. Meaning, I was spending cheaper in advertising and with that, I can spend more to get more leads and prospects. However, if your actual value is way higher than the industry average, then you need to adjust your lead generation or your conversion strategy. What you can do is to create better offers, give more bonuses, and add more value to your audience. For example, I used to conduct paid seminars around the country. However, to increase my lead conversion, I made it into a free seminar. Thus, the number of attendees doubled. At the end of the seminar, for those who wanted to work with me, I offered a mentorship program. And since the number of attendees increased, then the number of customers with my mentorship program also increased. To further increase my conversion, I added more bonuses such as like a one-on-one -on -one consultation call and that totally improved my business performance. And finally, there will come to a point in your business where no matter how you adjust, improve your offer and the like, you'll get a stable conversion rate. That is your final actual conversion data. Now it's time to use this to forecast your sales for the whole year. Step number three, do a sales forecast. You don't want to do business just for the short term, you're in for the long term. And doing a sales forecast based on your current results and your conversion rates will help you predict if you can achieve your business goals. So what is sales forecasting? 
simply it is the process of estimating future sales. Say for example, you want to earn 2 million pesos in revenue for the year. Then you'll have to reverse engineer basing with your current conversion rate in the results. We're going to do like a little bit of math again, so bear with me. Let's say for example, you're earning 100,000 pesos average per month in revenue. To do a sales forecast, you're going to simply multiply that by 12, which is 12 months, meaning 100,000 pesos multiplied by 12 is equal to 1.2 million, which is short on your annual goal. Now, let's do reverse engineering. 2 million divided by 12 months, you'll need around 170,000 pesos per month in revenue. Now, using these data, which is from our example earlier, 10 pesos cost per lead, 5,000 per sale, and 2% conversion, then you'll need to, I've done the calculation for you, spend at least 17,000 pesos in advertisements, acquire at least 1,700 leads, convert 34 customers, and earn around 170,000 in revenue. If you do this consistently per month over the year, then you will be able to achieve your target income goal of 2 million in annual revenue. Again, these data are just for illustration purposes only. That is the power of sales forecasting. It will help you predict future sales. It will help you make better decisions, adjust your efforts, and improve your business. So to recap, here are the three steps on how to predict your sales forecast for your business. First is you look for the industry average conversion rates. Second is you actually test and you get actual data. And third is you do a sales forecast. Question of the day, how do you actually do sales or computations in your business right now? Or if you don't have a business yet, like what is your way of doing computations? Are you currently implementing what I'm teaching or do you have your own way? Let me know in the comment section below this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you're new here. If you missed our previous episode, check out more videos of this channel. Until next time, this is Feeble him, achieve success, live with happiness, and enjoy the good life. See you in our next episode. Are you a new business owner? Which is your which which which